Now, dear children, we have learned that subject and predicate. We have learned subject definition of subject. That is, the subject tells us about who and what the sentence is saying is called the subject. What about the predicate? Predicate is telling something about the subject is called the predicate. Now, in this lesson, the second part is of our lesson is compound subject and compound predicate. Compound, compound means two names subjects together is called the compound. Means suppose we are telling, telling time table. Time is also and the table is there. Dining table. Dining is also there. Table. Means when the two you know the words, the noun, subjects gets together is called the compound subject. What is the definition of compound subject then? Then the compound subject, when the subject is made up of two or more simple nouns, two or more simple nouns or subject, it is called the compound subject. It's very easy. See you. Now example you see, as I we have learned, that the subject and the predicate very clearly. Only here the difference is there when two or more nouns comes together that is that names and that subject, those subject is called a compound subject. For example, Tara and Zara went to the farm. Only Tara is not there. Tara and Zara went to the farm. So this is Tara and Zara is a compound subject here. Here Tara and Zara is compound subject. Now the second example is, what is that? The dog and the cat. Not only dog, dog, the dog and the cat. Means the dog and the cat fight with each other. Fight with each other. So here, which are the nouns? The dog and the cat. So this is called a compound subject. Very easy to understand here children. Wherever two nouns or more than two nouns comes together is called a compound subject. The same thing is there, the predicate. What is the predicate? The predicate tells us about the detail about the noun. Now we will see the example. Where telling about the two things, two things about the noun that is called a two compound predicate. That is called a compound. Two predicates comes together is called a compound predicate. See here, compound predicate. When the predicate is made up of two or more predicates, two or more predicates, it is called a compound predicate. For example, Sara. Sara got up. Sara got up. Sara got up. Walked to the store and ordered tea. If see here, two predicates are here. If we are not seeing one predicate, if you don't see this predicate, don't read this predicate. If you are not reading, suppose this predicate, are you reading meaning? Yes, you are getting meaning. See here, Sara got up, got up, walked to the store. Sara got up and walked to the store. You are getting meaning. Go to the or store. Chalpadi. That is a predicate. But one more predicate is there. What she has there? And ordered me. If you are not reading this also, then also the sentence is completed. But here we want to see the compound predicate. So the two predicates are here. So this is one, what a walk to the stall and order P. That is another uh, predicate. So this is called a compound predicate. Now let's see the second example. Second example is this. The dog barked and the dog barked and ran, ran after the postman. The dog barked, the dog subject barked, barked one sub predicate and ran after the postman means this is one predicate and this is another predicate that is ran after the postman 
is another predicate. Okay now, so here we have learned the subject and the predicate and in that with example we have learned that and in that we have learned the compound subject and the compound predicate. I think so you have understood this lesson very well. Here tomorrow you will get the worksheets also. Solve those worksheets. You have grammar textbook also with you. So in that also you solve and when you are writing, write it very clearly with neat and clear handwriting. Have a nice day. Thank you.